Good morning. Breakfast. The sun hasn't even risen yet. And then to Bright's Canyon. Just got to Bryce Canyon National Park. As you can see, it's a little colder than yesterday. There's snow around, but I have shorts on because it's supposed to warm up like 20 degrees later in the midday. We're gonna come in this visitor center. I think Grace is getting her stamps and go from there. I collected my stamps for Bryce Canyon. This one's probably my favorite. Oh, and that one's cool. I think this is the 100 year Yeah, I saw the ad for the 100 year. And then this is the yeah, big one. Cool. It's the sun, we got the centennial stamps. Pretty that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. We are now at Inspiration Point, which is a trailhead for the Rim Trail. We're getting off the shuttle. Stop nine is Inspiration Point. And if it was a good day where there was no snow, because we're at 8,000 feet elevation and there is a lot of snow and it's coming out of winter, um, we can't start from Bryce Point, which is where the shuttle was at the stop before. So now we're starting here. We're gonna hit Sunset Point sunrise point along the rim trail and my idea was to go all the way to the fairyland point but there's no shuttle there so we'd have to walk back to the visitor center to get the car we'll see how the road conditions are but this should be a pretty easy hike with a really great view of the canyon and the hoodoos the way that this park is built is it's an amphitheater it goes around and so we should get a pretty nice view the whole way around We're giving it a shot. There's definitely a lot more snow than we thought. I have hiking boots on. Grace just has regular shoes, so neither of us crampons, but I'm just a little worried that Grace might slip a little bit. So we're gonna give it a shot, go slow, stay inside more, and we should be fine. Bryce Canyon's most distinctive feature is definitely its hoodoos, and they look amazing, especially for someone like us who's first time seeing them. Although I think we've seen some version of like smaller hoodoos on the drive over here. But for those wondering who how they get made, from what I understand it's just from weathering and its unique location. So there's rain and ice that together over a lot of time. Bryce Canyon is the first park and really the first moment on this trip where we've really had the challenges of snow. But we kind of welcome this challenge a little bit because it makes the scenery look really beautiful. The contrast between the blue sky, the orange, and the white snow. We're obviously being very careful as we walk, but honestly, it isn't too, too bad. As long as it's not snowing, our vision is very clear. Less than a mile and we're here at Sunset Point. This is the most photographed hoodoo, known as Thor's hammer, but erosion has caused it to be not as big up top. But very nice here, you can see there's a little, ooh, a lot more people here now. It's a good lookout. So we were like over here at the start. And you get a really nice view. Just a note, while we took the shuttle, you can also drive to a lot of these points. Of course, it just depends on the day how busy parking is, but just to save some charge on the test that we thought we would take the shuttle. Less than half a mile from However, Sunset like Point is Sunrise Point. It's a lot easier to walk here because I think it's just more accessible, so less snow. And we get another great view, of course. You get more of a distance view. And you can see other hikers down there on the trails below. We decided to walk back to the visitor center from Sunrise Point since we didn't get to do as much activity as we'd like. And it's not that far at all. It's probably a little over a mile at most. But we're almost there. That's it, folks. Another park 
in the bag. We both really liked this. Unfortunately, we couldn't spend too much time here given my shoes and there's a lot of snow in the path we wanted to do. And unfortunately, Navajo Loop is closed also due to snow and we were most excited for that one. But overall, I think this is my third favorite national park after Zion and Grand Canyon. I'm a little conflicted. I definitely have Zion number one. I love the hoodoos here. That's such a unique feature. But I was telling Grace, I think if the Navajo Loop was open and we were able to do a little more, I would most likely have that too. But it's going to be hard for me to beat Grand Canyon, all the textures there. So I think I'm also going to go with three for now, but that may change in the future. But love this park a lot. It's a, I think uh, Grand Canyon gets a lot of hype and Zion as well, but Bryce Canyon is just as beautiful. We're gonna head to the car, head to a charger, most likely a destination charger now. I need to dry my shoes, so hopefully there's a dryer there. And then we're heading back to Paige, maybe get a run in later. Do you wanna take a picture? No. We're back in Paige for Antelope Canyon tour tomorrow. Put on some sunscreen right now at the charger before we head back to Glen Canyon where we were just a couple days ago to go for another run. Although it's really sunny out. It's only like 75 or something. The sun is blazing down. So we kind of make sure we protect ourselves. Another run back here at the same spot, Glen Canyon. And it's definitely a lot hotter today on the run. Not as much distance, 2.68 miles, but picked up the pace a little bit. Grace, how was that? Good, it's so hot here today. Yeah, yeah it's quite very sunny hot. Put sunscreen on, of course. But yeah, it's blazingly hot. <clears throat> My knees are still a tiny bit sore from the run a couple days ago, plus Zion yesterday. Mm -hmm. But I would say pretty good sweat. I'm doing a little cool down walk mm -hmm. right now. And afterwards, we'll probably just get some push ups in or something like that. Yes. And get a nice cold shower. If you've been following the vlogs the past few days, you might have noticed that my eye looks a little bit weird. I actually popped a blood vessel a couple days ago, I think when we were in Texas, because allergies there are really bad, sneezing a lot. And when I used to live in Austin, I used to get a lot of hives, especially on my arms. So I'm just letting that disperse. I got a comment about it yesterday on the Zion shuttle. So it does look a little bit worrisome, but nothing to be too, too worried about. We just cashed in our little flyer that Eric found, which gives us one free Crunch Wrap Supreme when we buy one. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Two Crunch Wrap Supremes. We both didn't want cheese. And this is my first time trying Taco Bell. Hello, Dad. Yes, this is my first time trying Taco Bell. And I'm excited because I heard it's good. Back at Wawweep, but this time at their Overlook, which is free unlike their regular section, which you need the pass or you need to pay to go into. Here to admire the sunset, popped open the trunk again, set up our little bit, our little table here. Got our Taco Bell, our celery, and some water. This is my first time trying the, any Taco Bell product, but especially the Supreme Crunch Wrap, Crunch Wrap Supreme. We both got no cheese, no nacho cheese inside. So let's try. I don't really eat fast food anymore, but growing up, this is my favorite thing from Taco Bell. Uh-oh. Uh. It's like mediocre. <laughs> that does it for, I would say, a great day. Bryce Cannon made it back to Page, had a good run. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to call it a night here. It is only 7.30ish. But we do have to be up somewhat early for Antelope Canyon tour, even though it's not as early as we've been up the past couple days. But I think we're just gonna decompress, get ready for bed, chillax. We haven't really had any time to chillax and just yeah. do stuff. So we're gonna do that. But for now, good night. Good night.